Students of one St. Andrews Primary School returned to newly constructed facilities at the school's location at Progress Park on Monday, the first day of the Michaelmas term. More in this Annette Moore report. Students and staff of the St. Andrews Anglican Primary School will no longer be at the temporary structure on Victoria Street in Granville. The original school building, which sits nearby, was damaged by Hurricane Ivan in 2004 and then destroyed by fire. Staff and students have used a temporary school facility in Granville for more than a decade, while waiting for the school to be rebuilt. Now the arrangements are finally in progress for the new permanent structure on the school's original site next to the Anglican Church in Grenville. Therefore, the temporary school building had to be relocated. We are just looking forward to making our students comfortable and to continue to improve on what happens at St. Jean-Pierre Primary School. At the current facilities, acting principal Jennifer Rodney Lewis says students have begun the process of settling into their new location. They turn in nice. The only person I want to tell you about is Sophia. She's nice. Every time, every time I go into school, to, to go, when I go into school, I sh and I don't have any space to go in my city, she makes some space for me. Rodney Lewis identified several opportunities created by the move to Progress Park. We as teachers, we are very happy because at this point, every teacher has a class which they can design to accommodate their students. And this in itself is a plus that the teachers have welcomed. The facility is a bit bigger, the rooms and so are a bit bigger. We also have a toilet facility that is up to date, very modern. And this in itself is a plus because this is one of the biggest challenges we had at St. Andrew, at Grenville, sorry. So we are happy for that. Um, we have our kitchen facility also, which has been an upgrade to where we were operating from. So although it is temporary, we are very, very much pleased with what we have at this point. Rodney Lewis says there are a few immediate challenges, such as the installation of permanent electricity and internet services, but she does not expect these to exist for long. Parents and students are very happy with the school. The are all excited. She says parents' concerns mainly revolved around the need to install ceilings to reduce heat and noise from rainfall and the need for some students to take an extra bus to school. There will be discussions to see how these two issues can be addressed. Ricky Aberdeen, a teacher for 38 years at that school, shared his feedback about the relocation. To me, some of them was uh, looking forward to it because of the, as the clean area, the most space to run around and so on. And a lot of them live in close proximity to the park, so I think a lot of them will come in and they settle down quite, quite nice. He is thrilled that they can now use the nearby playing field. Our children were deprived of physical education to a great extent, so I'm very happy that now we have Progress Park in close proximity that we'll be able to resume our physical education sessions. Apart from that, the location is sort of conducive for learning because of its Serenity. Despite the very long wait, Rodney Lewis is hopeful that this time the promise of new permanent school facilities will be a reality. We have looked at the drawings and uh, we have seen a model facility in the drawing and that has also been discussed. So we are looking forward to a model school for St. Angelican Primary School in the not-too-distant future. The school's population at maximum capacity is 400 students. The new structure is expected to accommodate at least 25 students per class. Normally we have three of each grade, three of each grade. So we are looking at 21 grades. While we are willing to adjust and adapt to the settings here, we very much like to have our permanent home established. I just want to express our gratitude. I express gratitude on behalf of the staff, the parents and the students to the Ministry of Education for 
the dedication towards education and um, taking the students and teachers, the students of the nation interests into consideration and making that move to um, start the process of a new facility for St. Alexander Primary We are hopeful that this would bring the change that we are all looking forward to. For the National Report, I'm Annette Moore.